Yorkshire completed their first LV County Championship victory of their season as they saw off Leicestershire to win by an innings and 22 runs in spite of a fine career best performance from Matt Boyce. After a truncated third day, Leicestershire resumed on 102 for three in their second inning, still requiring 229 runs to avoid the innings defeat. They had been 14 for three and had recovered thanks to a solid partnership between Boyce and Josh Cobb. The two continued to frustrate the Yorkshire attack for the first hour as they threatened to be able to save this game. Both batsmen began the day in the 40s and both completed their half centuries as this shot also brought up the 100 partnership. The visitors knew that they really had to bat for the whole day in order to save this match having followed on 331 runs behind and to that end things were going pretty well as Cobb looked untroubled in taking his stand with Boyce to 128. Cobb had made 69 of those but was then out leg before to give Stephen Patterson his fourth wicket and leave Leicestershire on 142 for four. That soon became 149 for five as Ned Eckersley was bowled around his legs by Tim Bresnan to go for four. With 45 minutes to go until lunch, Yorkshire would have been hopeful of having much of the afternoon off to enjoy Scarborough, but Leicestershire had other ideas as Wayne White joined Boyce to keep the bowlers at bay for the next two hours. White is having a good season with both bat and ball, and in what was a pretty bad game for his team on the Yorkshire coast, White performed admirably. He took five Yorkshire wickets when they batted and he was now going well with the bat himself. At times he made batting look rather easy, here effortlessly placing a ball from Joe Root over the long on boundary for six. Another four took him to an excellent 50. That was his seventh four to go with that six. He'd been at the crease for 76 deliveries at this stage. Boyce had moved through his innings rather more serenely, but no less effectively. Steadily, he and his partner were giving their side a real chance of saving this match. Boyce had survived long enough here to be facing the second new ball, which he turned to the fine leg boundary to bring up just the 400 of his first class career. It was a fine, fine knock, which had occupied 250 deliveries. And he now had his highest ever score on his sights. That was made against Gloucestershire last season when he struck 119. More importantly, with his side now into the second half of the day, was a chance to bat out for an extraordinary draw. This stroke did take him to his career best. The clock was reading 10 to three, with Leicestershire on 282 for five, now only 49 runs behind. That draw was looking more likely until Anthony McGrath, who had a superb game, grabbed on to a firm drive from White off his own bowling. White had gone for 67 to end a stand of 133, and as so often happens, his partner Boyce fell in the next over. On 122, he played a delivery from Ryan Sidebottom back onto his stumps. The atmosphere had changed in a flash, and next ball, Yorkshire sent the victory as Sidebottom trapped Robbie Joseph in front. And the former England man was mighty close to a hat-trick, this delivery just missing everything. Leicestershire, who'd battled so hard for the best part of two sessions, then folded. Nadim Malik was bang in front to Adol Rashid. And a fifth wicket fell in the space of 11 overs when Patterson completed his five wicket haul by having Claude Henderson held by Gary Balance. Patterson ended with figures of five for 77 as Leicestershire slipped from the relative safety of 282 for five to 309 all out. That gave Yorkshire a win by an innings and 22 runs, and that gave them 23 points. Leicestershire did not like to be beside the seaside. They took only one point from this match.